most common amphibian which can be seen easily during rainy season near our ponds, canals or marshes making creaking sounds are one of the most beautiful, colorful and prominent amphibian species. It might look creepy and slimy but is one of the important part of our ecosystem. Scientific name Rana temporaria Although a larger group can also be called a colony, a group of frogs of the same age range a cohort and a group of males a chorus. Old English froga, frog, a diminutive of frosk, forks, fox, frog, probably literally hopper. The Latin word for it is initiative of croaking. The earliest full fossil record of a modern frog is of Sanyan Lichan, which lived 125 million years ago and had all modern frog features, but bore nine pre-sacral vertebrae instead of the eight of modern frogs. Frog fossils have been found on all continents including Antarctica. There are three subspecies of the common frog. Rana T. temporaria, Rana T. honorati and Rana T. palvipalmata. Rana T. temporaria is the most common subspecies of this frog. Common frogs live a solitary life in damp places near ponds or marshes or in long grass. They are normally active for much of the year, only hibernating in the coldest months. In the most northern extremities of their range, they may be trapped under ice for up to nine months of the year, but recent studies have shown that in these conditions, they may be relatively active at temperatures close to freezing. The average mass is 22.7 grams. The female is usually slightly larger than the male. The adult common frog has a body length of 6 to 9 centimeters. Frogs are cold-blooded animals. Common frogs metamorphose through three distinct developmental life stages, aquatic larva, terrestrial juvenile and adult. They have corpulent bodies with a rounded snout, webbed feet and long hind legs adapted for swimming in water and hopping on land. They are generally a shade of olive green or brown with a dark patch behind the eyes. Frogs often have bands of darker striping on the back legs. Many individuals have irregular dark markings on the back but coloration is extremely variable. Yellow, pink, red, orange and black individuals are often reported. The common frog is solitary for most of the year. It is most active at night and usually stays hidden during the daylight hours. Depending on the local climate, the frog may stay active throughout most of the year or hibernate for the winter months. Frogs hibernating underwater are able to spend long periods of time without resurfacing by taking in oxygen through their skin. Breeding As soon as the common frog emerges from hibernation, mating takes place. This can be as early as February or as late as June. The frog tends to return to its natal pond. The males are first to reach the breeding sites. 
the males wrestle with each other and try to attract the females by producing the loudest croaks. When the female enters the water to spawn, the male climbs on her back and grasps her with his front legs, kicking away any competitors. The frogs stay paired like this until the female has laid her eggs and the male has fertilized them with his sperm. Each female releases roughly 1,000 to 2,000 small black jelly-coated eggs that float in large clumps close to the surface of the water. Depending on local weather conditions, the eggs can take from 2 to 4 weeks to hatch. 10 to 15 weeks later, after hatching, the tadpoles metamorphose into small froglets. Common frogs are carnivorous, so feed on a variety of invertebrate prey, including slugs and snails, which makes them especially popular with gardeners. Despite their wide mouths, frogs drink by absorbing water through their skin and swallow using their eyes. They retract them into the head to help push food down their throat. When they mouth, they usually eat the skin as it is a valuable source of nutrition. Frogs make attractive meals for a vast array of wildlife, so they are vulnerable to predators on the ground, underwater and from above. Their predators include small mammals, lizards and snakes, The common frog, our most familiar amphibian, is no longer quite so common due to shrinking habitats and man-made developments, lack of habitat management and disease. In Great Britain and Northern Ireland, the common frog is therefore protected by law from trade and sale. Garden ponds are increasingly important for common frogs and many populations in suburban area depending on them. These help to compensate for losses in the UK countryside where ponds have decreased by a third in the last century to under 500,000. They make a specific noise called as croak particularly by the males during mating season. The average top speed of frogs approximates at 10 miles per hour on land, which represents the speed that a frog may reach while hopping or jumping at full momentum, although this figure does vary between frog species. Frogs are very social and will come together routinely in groups, especially during the breeding season. In fact, frogs are born into the world in groups and spend most of their development with other frogs. And some species of frogs lay huge amount of eggs at any one time. Some have been known to lay as many as 30,000 at one time. That's a lot of eggs and potential offspring. These collective groups of eggs are known as frog spawn. While not all of these eggs will hatch and develop into tadpoles, there is a collective group that will and those tadpoles will stay together too, at least until they start to develop into froglets. While they are young, a group of frogs will swim together in schools. When adult, they live a solitary lifestyle. Common frogs are not poisonous. They do not have the special poison glands like some of the other species in the Amazon have. However, all frogs can carry viral or bacterial diseases such as Salmonella. Male frogs make a low purring sound in the breeding season to attract females, which are largely silent. 
Their spawn is laid in freshwater in clumps. A group of eggs called as spawn contain up to 2,000 eggs. Five years in wild and 10 years in captivity. The common frog is listed as a species of least concern on the IUCN Red List of Threatened Species. Common frogs are susceptible to a number of diseases, including Rana virus and the parasitic fungus Batrachochytrium dendrobatidis, which has been implicated in extinctions of amphibian species around the world. Loss of habitat and the effect of these diseases has caused the decline of populations across Europe in recent years. Frogs are everywhere, yet we don't pay much attention to them. It would benefit us if we know some of the basic details about the creatures that surround us every day.